Okay, so let's go guns blazing into this Vegeta, the Scouter Vegeta card from Namek. Uh, let's just go straight into it. This card has not released yet, but this is one of the cards I have to do a unit review on just to keep up with all the recent cards that are coming out in Dokkan. So, uh, this guy comes out October 3rd of 2024, so he's coming out in two days from now. Uh, and he's coming out during this meta. I'm going to assume that he's going to be very good because he has guard. No, he doesn't have guard. I'm tripping. He has damage reduction and dodge, if I remember what I read yesterday. Because I did read this guide yesterday. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. So his leader skill is Plan Namek Saga, Gifted Warriors, Inhuman Deeds 3 key and 1 70% across the board. And his 30% of the stats are 2 Dragon Ball Seekers or Pure Saiyans. And his super attack that being the final Gallic Cannon. He greatly stacks attack and regularly stacks defense. And does immense damage to enemy of course. So good super attack effect. And his passive that being combat experiences, he activates the interest animation once only and he gets 3 key and 180% attack and defense for the rest of the battle when facing only one enemy at the start of character's attacking turn. Let me tell you this for free, this is a strong interest animation buff because it's just key, stats, it's straight to the point, good. He also starts out with, uh, what's that? It's, he, okay, he doesn't start out with anything. He doesn't. Wait, no. He starts out with no attack and defense buff. Buff, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't. It's literally just this. Oh, okay. So this is just, this is it right here. All right. Okay, so he also gets 50% attack and defense per key obtained up to 500%. So we're going like, uh, what's his name? Castle, Cat, uh, I, I saw it's like Cato Pesla or it's something like that. He's kind of like that card I talked about like a couple of days ago or literally yesterday. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, he's kind of inspired by that design where they did that with him. He also randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow. Of course, excluding AGL. So he's a rainbow orb changer. That is nice. Unrestricted. And he gets 30% damage reduction as well as a 18% chance to dodge with an AGL key sphere obtained or with five or more key spheres obtained. So uh, one AGL key sphere should not be hard for them to get. And also he gets an additional 30% chance to dodge as well as 18% damage reduction. If, and if HP is 50% or more, he launches a guarantee super. I do not remember that part of his card. Okay, so he can get up to 48% damage reduction as well as a 48% chance to dodge. Okay, as well as him doing a guarantee super. That's going to help him considering the fact that he is a stacker. I like that. And his orb changing is going to greatly help him getting that 50% attack and defense per key to obtained up to 500% of course. And he also... If HP is 50% or less at the end of the turn, he gets an additional 50% defense and a 50% chance to crit from the next turn onward. Okay. And after this character performs a super attack five more times in battle, he changes all key spheres to AGL at start of character's next attacking turn. And for the next attacking turn onward for this character, he randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to AGL. Interesting. Okay. So... Yeah, this guy's design is, looks pretty interesting, really. He can get up to a 48% chance to, you know, what's that, to dodge and with damage reduction, as well as uh, him being a orb changer, he has a guaranteed super, he can also get, he has built-in crit chance as well as defense, um, yeah. The only thing that I'm, I'm curious about this character is if he does not get enough orbs, will he be fraudulent? Hmm. Now, granted, that's earlier on to the fight, and he really does have to stack up his defense. Yeah, this guy is interesting. Yeah, for sure. Because his attack and defensive buff is from his interest animation only. And then he gets 50% attack and defense where he's retained up to 500%. But that's directly supported by him creating rainbow orbs. And he also gets 30% damage reduction as well as 18% chance to dodge with an AGL key or five more type key spheres obtained. Or just, yeah, just key spheres obtained in general. And also, he gets an additional 30% chance to dodge as well as 18% damage reduction. And if HP is 50% or more, he launches a guarantee super. Yeah, a 48% chance to dodge and have with 48% damage reduction. As well as him being able to get up to a 50% chance to crit. Um, and he can also change orbs to his own specific typing. Okay. Yeah, this Vegeta's interesting. 
for sure. He's very interesting. And his active skill, that being Dirty Fireworks, Master Race attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy. He gets 50% attack in battle, okay? And it can be performed uh, when he performs four or more super attacks in battle once only. Okay. I wonder how much damage this is going to do, considering he greatly stacks attack. I'm interested. I like to assume it does a lot of damage, but we'll see. And his categories that he's on, Planet Nami Saga, Pure Saiyans, Dragon Ball Seekers, Vegeta's Family, Inhuman Deeds, Gifted Warriors, and Planetary Destruction. So that is it for this Vegeta. He looks good. He looks good. He can be a orb changer to both Rainbow and then afterwards to his own specific typing as, as the battle goes on. He is a stacker. He also uh, is technically a nuker up to a specific amount, that being up to 500% attack and defense with a 48% chance to dodge as well as 48 percent damage reduction he looks interesting yeah he also has a guaranteed super built into him to help him stack up his attack and defense we got to see this guy in game for sure yeah we definitely got to see this guy in game um same warrior race royal lineage prodigies brutal beat down the same lineage prepare for battle nice he has the same lineage and prepare for battle uh who is on his who, who's on the 200 leaders goes from well what 200 leaders goes is he on He's on Broly's, SSJ Vegeta's, Frieza's. Is that is that a big help for Frieza? Hmm. No. Let me see Frieza. Frieza wants. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's on five two hundred percent leader skills, and his best linking partner is these guys. Potentially ZA. Okay, um, I think that's about it. Uh, that's all there is for Vegeta. I have to do a video tomorrow on Kui. <laughs> or is that how you say his name? Kui, Kui. I think it's Kui. But yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. Vegeta's interesting. We got to see him in game. Peace.